Number 11, which model represents 0.6 divided by two equals 0.30? So all these answer choices have a uh, 10 by 10 grid. So we know that each row or each column is going to be in tenths, right? So like this whole column right here would be 0 0.1 um, and so forth. So letter A, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, but each of those squares is a hundredth, right? So that's actually 0 0.06 and 0 0.06. So that's actually gonna be too small for this question. Letter B, we have one, two, three, four, five, six columns that are shaded in. All right, so that would be 0 0.6, but then they have this other part added to it, so that doesn't really make sense. Letter C, we have one, two, three, four, five, six shaded in, so that is 0 0.6, all right, six tenths, and then they have the whole shaded area split into two. See this right here, okay? And so that means that each of these squares now is going to be 0 0.30, so that one does make sense. Our answer is letter C. Number 12, Carmela plotted the ordered pair one, three on a coordinate grid by moving one unit up and three units left from the origin. Which statement is true? All right, so before we look at the answer choices, what she should have done is gone one unit to the right and then three units up, all right, because our X value, our first number always tells us right or left, and then our second number is up or down. Letter F, Carmela plotted both the X coordinate and the Y coordinate incorrectly. That is true because she swapped them both. And so letter F is going to be our correct answer. Number 13, what is the value of this expression? One fifth divided by 30. So I'm gonna go ahead and change this to one fifth divided by 30 over one. All right, and I know that if I divide fractions, I can just do keep change flip. So I'm gonna change this to one fifth times one over 30. So now we're gonna get one is still the numerator and then five times 30, if we work that out, we should get 150. So if we look at our answer choices, we're going to get letter A. Number 14, an equation is modeled on the number line. Which equation does this model represent? So let's figure out what these lines are counting by first. So we have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then eight to get to one. So our denominator should be eight in most of these. So this is basically one eighth, two eighths, three eighths, four eighths and so on. I'll go ahead and finish that out. So we're going to seven over eight right here. So we're gonna start with seven over eight and then we're moving backwards or subtracting one, two, which is minus two over eight, okay? Now, I don't see that in the answer choices, but we know that two over eight is the same thing as one over four, one fourth. Okay, so we're looking for seven over eight minus one fourth. So I see that in F and H, we just need the one with the correct answer. So if we look back at the graph, we end up on five over eight. So we should have that for our answer and that's gonna be letter H. Number 15, the frequency table shows the number of visitors in different age ranges who visited a Number 15, the frequency table shows the number of visitors in different age ranges who visited a children's museum on Saturday. What is the difference between the number of visitors who were younger than 20 and the number of visitors who were 20 and older? So let's first find younger than 20. So that's gonna be these sections right here. So I'm gonna put younger than 20. So this first section we had 15 because each of those are five. This next one we had five, 10, 15, 20, 25 plus three is gonna be 28. All right, next section, five, 10, 15, 20, 21. And then five, 10, 11. So let's go ahead and add those numbers up. So 15 plus 28 
plus 21 plus 11. So five plus eight is 13, plus one is 14, plus one is 15. One plus one is two, plus two is four, plus two is six, plus one is seven. So that section is equal to 75. And now let's find those who are 20 and older. So we have five plus two, which is seven. Next section we have five, 10. Next section we have five, 10 plus two is 12. And then last section we have five, 10, 15, 20 plus three is 23. So let's go ahead and add those up. So we're gonna add seven, 10, 12, and 23. So seven plus zero is seven, plus two is nine, plus three is 12. And then one plus one is two, plus one is three, plus two is five, so that's gonna be 52. Now, they wanna know the difference between these two numbers. So now I just have to subtract, and that'll give us our answer. So 75 minus 52. Five minus two is three, and then seven minus five is two. So we should have an answer of 23, and that's gonna be letter D.